space, a final frontier. These are the voyages of... Me, Dr. Leanne Sue, a.k.a. the Krypton Lady. Today we'll be looking at my five-year mission to explore strange new propellants, to seek out new current densities and new thruster records, to boldly haul thruster where no haul thruster has haul thrustered before. First of all, what is a haul thruster? A haul thruster is a fast donut. It's a type of electric propulsion device that goes in space. We like haul thrusters, but we want to use propellants besides xenon, which is lame and expensive. Xenon's hotter little sister is Krypton. Krypton is purple, which is fun. Now, Krypton might have some of the same issues as Xenon. It runs in the family. But if we can understand the differences between these two siblings, maybe we can understand the rest of the family as well. Even the weird cousins, like air. And water. Krypton's efficiency is usually worse, because it's lighter than Xenon and harder to ionize. This means its mass utilization, how easily it can turn neutrals into ions, isn't quite as good as Xenon's. We can improve mass utilization by increasing voltage or current, which is true for both gases. But Xenon thinks it's so good that it's got nowhere left to go. Whatever. Mass utilization gets better with higher plasma density. But even at the lowest power conditions, Xenon's so dense that it's already practically at the top of the curve. Meanwhile, Krypton's on a mission to win most improved. So maybe we can turn these knobs and get Krypton's performance to be just as good as Xenon's. Maybe better. Let's find out. First, we tried voltage. Did it work? No. Friendship ended with voltage. Now we try current. It's super effective. All you have to do to get here is break a thruster, fix a thruster, break it again, melt a cathode, get a new cathode, melt that cathode, make new bobbins, wind some tubing, break a thruster, break a thruster, and fix a thruster, and ride a scooter, fix a thruster, explode a cooling line, freeze a thruster, scrub a thruster, break a chamber, fix a chamber, flop a thruster. And then voila! Congratulations, you've now evolved your thruster. We got our thruster up to 10 times its normal current density. Or 8 times its normal thrust density. Now it's a strong haul thruster. Now we can compete with MPDs. Hell yeah, now we got business. What about Krypton? Do we fix Krypton? Yes. Turns out Krypton can be ionized to its fullest. You just need to believe. And also flow a lot of gas into your thruster. Remember our curve? Krypton's got a lot more room for improvement. So Krypton improves. Now we do a bunch of science and simulation and hand tune a model of anomalous electron transfer based on experimental data. Turns out our experiments were pretty good and right, and current does improve mass utilization. It makes everything better for Krypton. Except beam utilization, but we're not going to talk about that here. Voltage also improves mass utilization, but it doesn't make everything better for Krypton, which we're also not going to talk about here. Get out of here. So what did we learn? A whole lot of stuff. Krypton can be good now. What do we have left to learn? A whole lot of other stuff. Who's gonna figure it out? It could be you. If you have questions, then ask them. Go get a PhD. From anywhere. But probably from Michigan. And probably from Pebble. That's a lot. That's my lab. It's a good lab. Okay, that's all. <laughs>